I'm the sales manager here at Richard Lawson Pianos. I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the different features of this instrument. So this is the GB1K uh, Discovery and Spire. Uh, it's uh, Yamaha's uh, smallest uh, baby grand piano, uh, five feet in length. But the uh, Discovery and Spire system is available on all the different grand pianos. So the GC series, uh, CX, SX, and even the CF series, uh, going all the way up to the CFX, the concert grand. Uh, it's also available on two different uprights, the U1 and the YUS1. Um, as you just heard, uh, what that means is, um, is that it, the piano can play itself. Uh, people often ask how that works, <laughs> uh, naturally, uh, particularly if it's the first time they've ever seen it. Um, I won't go into too much detail about that, obviously it does get very uh, technical, but just very basically, um, every key has what's called a solenoid at the back of the key, just underneath, uh, which is a kind of electromagnet. That has a little, uh, little piston and that pushes the keys up uh, at uh, lots, many different levels of velocity. And that actually in this system, uh, the Inspire system, um, every key has uh, just over a thousand different levels of, of velocity. So the playback that you get from the original recording is, is very um, highly accurate, uh, very authentic uh, reproduction um, of that recording. I mean, what you just heard uh, it was not sort of programmed into the piano. Um, that was an actual pianist, a live pianist who's recorded on a Disclavia system, and that's what you're hearing back uh, through the piano. Uh, the Disclavia piano has been around since uh, late 80s, so just over 30 years. Um, this is the latest version. Um, the Inspire system has been out for uh, about three or four years now. And um, yeah, it has lots of different um, advantages and, and benefits um, over and above the, the previous systems. One of the major ones is the way it's controlled. So with the previous systems, uh, certainly the last one, the E3 system, um, you had to use a remote control, which is a, a little bit cumbersome. Uh, with the Inspire system, they use this app, the control app. Uh, and you can do um, everything from there, so you can change the volume, pick the songs, etc. So I'll just go into a, a bit more detail about exactly what, how you can do uh, that. So with the app, uh, one of the things that I can do is play um, any of the built-in songs um, of the Inspire system. So all the Inspire pianos uh, come with uh, 500 songs uh, built in. Uh, so to do, to do that, this is the main menu, built-in songs. As you can see here, uh, lots of different uh, genres. Uh, it's got pop, rock, jazz, soul, classical, etc. Um, so I just um, play, uh, let's say, a jazz one. And you can see, so you've got lots of different uh, songs here in, uh, in that style. Uh, let's just play um, a bit of one of these, random. <laughs> I can do at this point is uh, change the volume. So that's the volume slide here. So I can turn that right down. Or I can push up. So of course I can uh, pause that. If I Go to one of the songs um, with backing. So one of the um, great things about the Inspire system is that it's capable of playing um, audio backing. So the previous uh, Disclavio pianos don't only really uh, have MIDI backing. Um, so with, um, with that, if I play something like this, along a bit. So as you can hear you've got uh, drums in the, uh, in the backing there. So with the volume, if I turn the volume up from here, 
turns the volume up and down for both the piano itself and the backing. If I go into the mixer section here though, I can now have control over the backing volume. So I can turn that right down, turn the piano up. control over the volume of both the piano um, and the backing itself. Um, in addition to the uh, 500 built-in songs uh, that come with the Inspire um, as standard, um, you do have access to several thousand more titles um, and they're accessible from the Yamaha MusicSoft uh, website. Um, the um, yeah, MusicSoft library. Uh, to access that uh, from the app you've got Music Shop button here you can just click on shop now there and that takes you to the uh, MusicSoft website. So once you've purchased whatever titles you want from there, so that gives you access to, um, like I say, yeah, thousands of, of titles in, in every genre and style you can imagine. And uh, yeah, so you pay for the, the title um, on there, uh, save it to the device you're using, and then you can play uh, directly uh, from the device. Um, another great thing, um, or another good reason to have um, the piano connected to Wi-Fi is that you've got access then to Discovery Radio. So this is um, a streaming service and that gives you access to 30 different channels, again in uh, lots of different uh, genres and, and styles. You've got yeah, jazz, uh, country, uh, classical, pop and rock, um, other more specialised ones like Elton John, Chopin, Gershwin, etc. Um, around about a quarter of these are um, premium channels. So those are ones where you've got the um, audio backing, so not just MIDI or piano solo. So if I go to one of those uh, now, so let's say, um, well, these original artist ones are premium channels. So go to something like um, Classic Rock, for instance. Just whilst that's connecting, um, one of the things I should say is this is a subscription service, so you can pay either monthly or yearly. And um, once you've got um, that, then you've got that gives you access to all the channels at that point. Um, otherwise, you've just got access to uh, complementary channels. I think only two different ones. So that's connected now. So as with the uh, built-in songs, um, you've got control over the volume. You've got control over the audio backing as well. Um, one of the things I should say about the audio backing is that with the Inspire, because it is the first piano that has um, audio backing, is that um, for the first time that gives you um, actual uh, singers. <laughs> um, so when you're listening to the songs, you're actually hearing uh, you know, the, the vocal line being, being sung rather than just played by a MIDI instrument. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, when the piano is playing back any particular song or piece, um, it is playing a recording uh, of a live, uh, you know, real pianist, it's not just programmed into the piano. And actually one of the great things about the Discovery system is you, you can record yourself as well and have that playback. So I'll do that now. Uh, so from the uh, main menu of the app, it's got record here. And at this point, uh, I've got a couple of options. I can either press start or um, what's really clever is that uh, if I play any of the notes or push down any of the pedals, then we'll record automatically at that point as well. So I'll do that now and uh, record it, save it, and play it back. So I press stop there. So that's just saving to the piano. So at this point, if I just press press play. Of course, um, as with all the other um, titles on here, the built-in songs, Discovery Radio and so on, I can change the volume of that. So I'll just, um, that was a bit loud maybe. So I'll just play, play that again. So 
so I can do um, all the um, usual things uh, with my own recordings that can be done with the um, other uh, titles. Um, one of the really great things about recording yourself is it's very handy, uh, particularly for learners um, of really any level, so beginners up to advanced players, um, to hear yourself playing back acoustically is it, perhaps much more valuable, I'd say, compared to recording yourself on a recording device, you know, phone or whatever, and then you can really hear the uh, little subtle things perhaps you're not doing um, as well as, as you might like, uh, so it's really great for that. Uh, just a couple more things to say about the Inspire system. Uh, so these, uh, well firstly they come with the uh, SH Silent system. So that allows you to uh, practice through the headphones uh, without disturbing other people. Uh, so do that with the Inspire piano, it's really simple. Uh, just plug in a headphone cable uh, to the control box. Uh, makes it go into uh, silent mode um, automatically. Um, as with the other silent, Yamaha silent pianos, uh, still benefiting from the uh, hammer action and it's using um, optical sensors under the keys uh, which are uh, detecting your touch. Um, because you've got the sensors, um, you've also got uh, MIDI connectivity, uh, so you can use the Inspire pianos uh, as a MIDI controller uh, in effect. So connect to a computer and uh, control things like Cubase, or Logic, uh, Sibelius, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I think that covers um, all the main features uh, of the Inspire system. Uh, if you have any other questions at all, uh, then do contact us. Our website is richardlawsonpianos.com and um, all of our contact information uh, is on there.